Hi, this is Albert, and I'm going to talk about uh, case study. This is a fish fictional character. His name is Tom. He's a 25 years old native English speaker. He's a polyglot. He speaks uh, seven Western languages, and he wants to learn Mandarin, and he wants to speak it like a native speaker. His story. He starts, but he soon feels that Mandarin is very difficult. He has problems with his tones, pronunciation, vocabulary, grammar. He doesn't know how to to work with it. He has problems with it. It's too difficult. It seems too difficult this language. He has been studying Mandarin, fan Mandarin for one year. He tries to speak with native speakers on Skype and to write in Mandarin forums. He gets discouraged. Most people don't help a lot. Most of them are more interested in learning English than to help him. Some of them make fun of him because his pronunciation is not very good, he, his vocabulary, his grammar is a little awkward and he feels bad. But he feels bad as well because his parents doesn't support him and his friends, some of his friends, make fun of him because they think he's wasting a lot of time in something that is useless. So he starts to think that there is something wrong with him, he cannot understand why he has so many problems with Mandarin, maybe he's a fake polyglot, but uh, well, the other languages maybe were Western languages, the, th those languages were easier, and Mandarin is a real new language and he feels very bad about this. Well. He thinks about it, uh, about it, but he wants to keep learning Mandarin and he wants to, to talk, to speak Mandarin like a native speaker. He moves to Beijing a year, a year, a year ago and he began to study Mandarin in a university. But the, sa the same problems arise. After one year living there, he thinks his, this language uh, is very, very difficult, too difficult, too many problems it's impossible. His teachers are not very good, sometimes people make fun of him, native speakers sometimes are more mm, interested in learning English than uh, in helping him, and most of them are indifferent, others all only want to, to, to learn English and not to help him. And some of his friends, English friends, think that uh, it's not necessary to, to learn Mandarin if you live in China. Problems with the people. And after one year, he only speaks the basics, really. He, he feels bad, bad. He, he's far from fluency, and he thinks he's not uh, very good learning languages. He's a polyglot, but uh, those languages that he has, he had learned before, were too easy. And Mandarin is a real new language and he's not very good with it and he feels very bad. That's not what we thought at the very beginning and he's far from being fluent like other people who live in China. Well, what's the problem here? What's the problem with Tom, this fictional character? But I think some people experiment this kind of problems. Well, we have extreme demands. If you remember the, the last psychological problem videos, you'll see that he thinks that it must be easier to study Mandarin. It must be easy. There must be quick method, methods, there must be ways of studying Mandarin and to achieve, and to achieve full native fluency easier and quickly. He thinks that you or they must help me, they must approve me, they must be nice with me. Uh, he 
things about other native speakers, his parents or his friends. And I must, I must speak like a native speaker soon, I must be able to show off, I must be able to be like other people that I know that uh, uh, go to shows in the Chinese TV and they speak like native speakers and they are very good learning languages and they are very good uh, speaking Mandarin, they speak like native speakers. Well, we have these three masts and we have their derivatives. The first one is depreciation. He starts to think that am, I am a fake polyglot, they are bad people because they don't help me, uh, my parents, my, my friends, my, the native, the Mandarin native speakers. He starts to think that Mandarin is a waste of time, it's too difficult, many, and bad things. He starts to think bad things. The precision. Uh, Ophelizing. It's horrible. I, it's very bad. All these feelings are awful. The third derivative is I can't. I can't stand it. Uh, it's a low frustration tolerance. I can't stand it. It's awful, it's horrible, I can't stand it. They are bad people, I am fake, Mandarin is too difficult, and things like that. Well, well, this must, it must be easy, creates anxiety. Don't feel anxiety. And this causes procrastination. Okay? You must or they must create this feeling. Angry. He feels angry. He wants revenge. He becomes aggressive in forums or in real life with other native speakers, talking bad about Mandarin, uh, discourage, discouraging other people to learn this language and nitpicking and things like that. And the I must creates depression. And he stops learning Mandarin and he feels very bad and and he, he give up studying Mandarin. Well, solutions. What can we do to help Tom? Well, we are not uh, psychotherapists and we only want that Tom help himself. himself. Well, the, f the, the, the most important is questioning. Questioning. must question all this nonsense okay and the main question if you want to 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 make it easy is what is the proof where is the evidence that this irrational thinking is true? I must. What's the proof that I must learn Mandarin like an native speaker? What's the proof that you must help me or that you must be nice with me? Is there any rule in the universe? that states this it must be easy easier where is the rule in the universe that says that Mandarin must be easier 
or that there must be a secret method or a quickly method I don't think so think about it yeah. where's the proof where's the evidence repeat this again and again I am but you are but it is bad Mandarin well this is the same question this where is the proof that I am bad or you are bad or the native speakers Mandarin native speakers are bad with me this seems common sense but we think when we get angry or depressed we think things like that so we need to question all this nonsense again and again and again yeah? it is awful horrible Where's the proof that this is awful or horrible? If you don't speak like a Mandarin native speaker, will you die? I don't think so. You could be happy without speaking a word in Mandarin. I can't stand it. The I can't stand itis. Where's the proof that you can't stand it? Will you die if you don't speak Mandarin? If you fail? Well, I think you could be very happy without this goal. So, we need to start with a, a new philosophy. Well, and this new philosophy starts with these words. I prefer... So, I prefer. This is very important. You can use another words, like, uh, for example, I, I desire, I desire, I want, or things like that. But this is a flexible thinking. It's not a dogmatic thinking like the mast. Uh, you can think and repeat again and, a and again after the questioning that I prefer to speak Mandarin like a native speaker but there is no reason why I must speak like a native speaker or I prefer that native speakers help me but there is no reason there is no law in the universe that they must help me or I prefer that my parents or my friends support me but there is no rule in the universe there is no reason that they must help me I prefer, I want, or I desire, I desire this. I will feel much better, maybe. But there is no reason that they must support me. I prefer to show off because my mother mm, knowledge. Okay, that's good. But it's not awful to be like other people and to speak badly in Mandarin or not to speak it at all. Maybe it's annoying, but it's not horrible or awful. You will sur survive. I prefer to speak Mandarin uh, like native speakers and I prefer that native speakers to be nice with me and to help me to learn Mandarin but I can't stand if they are not I prefer my friends and my family to support me but it's not horrible if they don't support me it's only a little annoying I prefer to, s to know a secret method to learn Mandarin very quickly, a good method or the best method, but there's no proof that it, this should exist or I should find it or something like that. Yeah. Well, remember, uh, this is very important. It's important to question, to question again and again where is the proof, where is the evidence, and it's very important to develop this new rational philosoph philosophy the I prefer but it's not necessary I don't need I'll survive if I don't get this goal and remember that you can understand this you can agree with with, with me in a intellectual level but this this is not enough you need to repeat again and again because you need a good feeling you need to really believe that this is true uh, that all this new philosophy is true okay I hope this is helpful and for you and 
We will see soon. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.